Welcome to Jar Your Mind. My name is Joey. Today we're going over being impeccable with your word. And I have a 48 card deck that goes over the four agreements. And I picked a card today. On one side it says, enjoy heaven on earth. And on the back it says, impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. So how do we attain the kingdom of heaven? Well, the kingdom of heaven is within you. And when we are impeccable with our word, it is from the heart that the mouth speaks. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. So the kingdom of heaven is already available to us. It's all about awareness, and it is all about going within. The word of God is within you, and out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Bringing that together, what is it to be impeccable with your word? What does that mean to you? To me, it means being in awareness of the word. And notice it doesn't say in the Bible, out of the mind, the mouth speaks. The mind is deciphering thought after thought, and then giving meaning to those thoughts. But the heart already knows. The heart already knows. And when the mind can step aside, the heart can flow. And so it is not being the opposite of impeccable, being flawed, for example. It is no flaw to have negative thoughts or to have thoughts that just enter out of nowhere, seemingly. The flaw is when we take these thoughts and create some kind of truth behind them when there is no truth behind them. And it is not coming from the heart. It is not out of the mind that the mouth speaks. It is from the heart that the mouth speaks. So when you discern the mind and the thoughts that are running around in your mind, when you can discern them for what is real to you, what is your truth in these thoughts? How do you want to feel in these thoughts? So these thoughts aren't real. Nothing is real until you make it real within your heart. And then out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you take negative thoughts and you believe them and you, you instill them into your heart, you take them personally, for example, a negative thought. You say, oh, this is mine. You take a personal inventory. You take possession of the thought. Then it goes to your heart. And out of the heart, the mouth will speak. But if they just stay in the mind, and you let them go, and you let them pass, then they have no hold on you. And they are not your truth. They are not coming from your heart. Thoughts are going to come and go all of the time. And you're going to maybe judge yourself for certain thoughts that you have. But these aren't yours. They're only yours when you claim them into your heart. So the key message of having an being impeccable with your word is to is to create your heaven on earth with the thoughts that are serving you that are heartfelt that are godlike that hold all of the values that you possess values like peace and love and freedom so when you have thoughts question is this coming from a value that I hold of love, or of peace, or of freedom. And if it's not, then you do not claim it. It's as simple as that. I do not claim these thoughts, they are not mine. But if you, if you feel into a thought, wherever it comes from, you feel into this thought, and you know it to be real. You feel into it with your heart, and from the heart, the mouth speaks. And that is being impeccable with your word. And you can have heaven on earth because the kingdom is already alive within you. It is just becoming aware and more aware of the perfection and already finished creation that is you and that is connected with all things. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom. Personal freedom when you choose the thoughts that you wish to enter your heart. 
that is personal freedom. It can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. Abundance because you only accept into your heart the thoughts that are abundant. It's very simple and yet hard to do because we actually believe that these thoughts are ours or are coming from our inner selves. But most of the time the thoughts are just entering our awareness from anywhere, from our environment, from conditioning and old belief systems and all kinds of things. But there's also a lot of truth in the thoughts that you have. You just have to discern what is real and what is an illusion. And the best way to do that is in meditation, by quieting the mind, by putting your attention back inward instead of outside of yourself. Because all of the answers are within you. And the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, is within you and you can have heaven on earth when you allow impeccable words from your mind to enter your heart and then from your heart the mouth speaks and that is impeccable and that is heaven on earth so let's do a meditation a thought experiment on listening to your thoughts or should I say listening to the thoughts that are going through your mind in the next several minutes? Are these thoughts worth taking hold of? Are they worth feeling into your heart with? There is no judgment of thoughts because they're not yours. They're not yours until you claim them to be yours. So in awareness, we claim them or we let them go. Relax your body from head to toe, just relaxing into these ideas of holding on or letting go of thoughts in order to become more impeccable with your word and experiencing heaven on earth. Breathe in and breathe out. You're getting more and more relaxed in this moment. So discover right now the next thought or thoughts that come into your mind as we are quiet in this moment. And I want whatever the thought is, neutral, positive, negative, in your mind. Decide if you want to claim this thought. And if you claim it, you feel into it with your heart. Claim the thoughts that are yours, and you will let go of the thoughts that are not. And it is up to you to discern which ones are which. And it is okay to feel into negative thoughts. Because pain is around for a reason. It needs to be acknowledged and then let go. Suffering is only suffering when we hold on to it. So if it's running and around and around and around in your mind, it has nowhere to go. You have to give it to your heart in order to feel 
Some thoughts are easy, you just let them go. You know it's not yours, you let them go. But for the ones that are causing suffering, and they are just incessantly running and running and running rampant in your mind, give it to your heart. Give it to God. Give it to the kingdom. Because it cannot survive in the light. Give it to the light within. Let the light breathe it in. Let it feel the pain. Let it feel the suffering. Let it feel the sorrow. Let it feel the despair. Whatever. Let it feel it. Give it to God. And let it transform out of you. It will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And again, a joyous thought comes in, or a feeling of happiness. You claim it. Say, this is heaven on earth. I claim this impeccable word. I claim it as my own. It is mine. Because I know in my heart that I am perfect, whole, and complete. And this makes me feel perfect, whole, and complete. And it is who I am. I am peace. I am joy. I am love. And out of that heart, the mouth speaks. Feel into that joy or love or happiness. Whatever it is, those are the thoughts that are magnifying more and more in your mind. And those are the thoughts that you are letting enter into your heart claiming as your own. And the ones you don't want are getting less and less significant and less and less yours at all. And it gets easier and easier to let them go when you focus more and more on the ones that bring you heaven on earth. Because the kingdom of heaven is within you. So go within. Go within. It is where all of the magic is. And out of the heart, the mouth speaks. And abundance is yours. Success is yours. Personal freedom is yours. Claim it with your heart. Claim it 
with your heart. It is yours. It has always been yours. You can have heaven on earth by being impeccable with your word. Take the next several minutes to let your thoughts do what they do and take special care and be impeccable with your word by deciding what to do with these thoughts. Are they yours? Do you want to claim them? Do you want to give them to your light to transform? Or do you want to give them to your light to expound upon? This is your power. This is your power. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Go within. Go within.